Hey everybody, RetroPie Guy here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up and install Steam Link on RetroPie. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to jump into our RetroPie settings here and we're going to jump down to RetroPie Setup. So the first thing we need to do is we need to update our system, make sure we have the most recent RetroPie software. So you can see here we're on version 4.7.2. We're going to need to update that. So we're going to go to the second option down, which is update, and we'll select that. Are you sure you want to update installed packages? We're going to select yes. Now you do need to be attached to your Wi-Fi network in order to do this. So it says here to fetch the latest version of RetroPie setup script, which is what we want. So we'll select OK. So it says here it's fetched the latest version of RetroPie. So now it's going to go through the updating process. This could take um, typically, I'd say around a half an hour or so if you have relatively fast internet. So we'll come back here once this has fully been updated. All right, so once our update's complete, we'll come back to this screen here and you'll see in the corner it says version 4.7.3, which is a version higher than what we started with. So we know that our update has completed. Next thing we need to do is we need to perform a reboot just to finalize this update. So we'll go down to perform reboot. We'll select OK. It'll say, are you sure you want to reboot? We'll select yes. And now our system will fully reboot. All right, so once we've rebooted our system here after our full update, we're going to jump into the RetroPie configuration settings. And we're going to jump down to RetroPie setup. Now we're going to jump into manage packages, which is the third option down. And we're going to go down to manage experimental packages, which is the fourth option, or fifth option down. Fifth option down. And now we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for Steam Link. Should be actually towards the bottom here, if I'm not mistaken. Right there number 145 at the time of this video. So we go ahead and select this option here and we're gonna hit install from pre-compiled binary. Are you sure you wanna install from pre-compiled binary? We're gonna select yes. And now we're gonna let this fully load in here. And this is for the Steam Link version for Raspberry Pi 3 and later. So if you have the Raspberry Pi 4, which is what we're demoing this on, this will be perfect for you. So this will take a little while to download, so we'll come back after it's fully downloaded. All right, so once that fully downloads, you'll come back to the screen here, and we're good to go. So we're gonna go back, we'll hit the back button here, back again, back again, and we're gonna do another reboot, just to confirm that that was installed correctly on here. It won't populate into your ports section here unless you do this reboot. So let's go ahead and reboot the system again. We'll select yes for we are sure that we want to reboot. All right, since we've rebooted our system now, we're going to need to connect a mouse through the USB port and a keyboard. Once we've done that, we're going to navigate over to the ports collection. And we'll see once we get here that the Steam Link has populated in. So we'll jump into ports. And the third option down there is Steam Link. So we'll go ahead and select that to open it up. Now we do need to have our computer opened up now and connected to the exact same Wi-Fi network. And on our computer, we're just gonna open up our Steam account. So if you have that saved on your desktop, just double click on your desktop icon for Steam. You'll probably uh, be prompted to enter in your password, enter that in. It'll usually take you over to your store and then just jump over to library. And that's all you're gonna have to do there. So on our Retro Pi system here. Now we have the screen that says, Welcome to Steam Link. Stream games from your computer with Steam. So we're going to go with our mouse and just go to the Get Started button here and click that. So now you can pair either a Steam controller or other controllers here, or you can skip this process. Um, so whichever you're going to be using. So we're actually just going to skip this process just to demo this today. Um, 
it's going to say, are you sure? Now, if you can actually go in and pair one of these, whether you have a Steam controller or a regular controller, if you do this, though, it is going to tell you that you have to re refer to your controller's instructions to learn how to pair it with your device. So we'll go back here and we'll skip this step just for today's demo. So it's going to say connect to computer. Your computer here, as long as, again, you have it opened up and you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network, it will populate on this list here. So this is mine. I'm going to click that. It's going to say enter the pin on your computer device here to continue. So you will get a authorized device prompt on your uh, laptop or regular computer, whatever you're running Steam off of. So I'm just going to enter this on my laptop here, which is 2263 and click OK. And again, this is being done on the computer that has Steam loaded onto it. So now it's going to test the connection, which only take, should take just a few seconds here. Network test complete. So it's saying I have a slow connection. That's probably because I'm in a far wing of the house that doesn't have great connection and I'm not going off of my uh, Wi-Fi booster here, but that's fine. So here for me, it says no controller detected. That's because I don't have a controller currently on. I'm just working off of my mouse and keyboard here for this demo. But if you have your regular Bluetooth controller or you're plugged in through a USB port on your Raspberry Pi, your controller would just populate right in here. So if you're on an 8 bit it would probably say um, 8 bit uh, Pro Controller on here. And then you're just going to hit start playing. So now it's going to connect over. It's going to say, are you sure most Steam games will require a controller to, to play with Steam Link app? I'm going to hit continue. You're going to already have yours connected on there, so it's not going to be an issue. And my games on here are actually computer games, not console games. So that's not going to be an issue for opening these up. So once this loads in, you can see that you have your games readily available on here. They're all in your library. So I for my version here, I just have two computer games on here. So we can just go and click on one of these and you'll see exactly how they open up. Now, if you have a game that has controllers, you would have to go in and pair your controllers with Steam. I'm not gonna get into all of that today. Um, there are some great tutorials on Steam, but I'm gonna keep it just to RetroPie today. So we'll jump in here and you'll see exactly how the games operate. So once you click on a game, you'll go into play and now it'll load in. So that's all we need to do today. I was just going to show you how the games open up on here. I'm not going to demo any games today, but this shows exactly the process for downloading and setting up Steam Link on your RetroPie system. So if you enjoyed this video today, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a whole bunch of different tutorials, uh, gameplay demos, just all sorts of stuff pertaining to RetroPie and Raspberry Pi. And then, of course, check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.